my dad is a huge motorsport fan. So when we got permission to come out to the Premier Speedway and watch as the drivers practice and bed in a new track, it was a big yes. And I was lucky enough to be trackside and chat with a couple of legends of the sport. I obviously just started racing sprint cars in Australia and travelling around and doing the whole circus and got lucky enough to, to get a break in America and now we're full time over there. We just, just came home and I uh, was there for 10 months. So it's an it's a entertaining lifestyle. We do you know, 80 to 100 races a year. So it's, it's, a, it's an unpredictable sport. It's, it's wide open, you know, very fast paced, a lot like a 20, 20 cricket game. Being trackside is an enormous rush and I am not even driving. What's it like out there on the track? Uh, it's probably, essentially, it's just, it's just like an overgrown uh, tractor. Um, but you just, you're racing with 30 of your mates and... This is a bit more than a tractor. These things cut some serious speed and noise. You know, 900 horsepower, they've got more power to weight ratio than a Formula 1 car. Um, just fun, just unreal. I know it looks like you just go in circles, but there's a lot to, a lot to racing one of these. And in my usual fashion, I asked what was driving this speed because, well, to be honest, I had no idea. Uh, it's a Chevy 410 cubic inch, uh, all aluminium block, uh, mechanical injection, it's, it's got no computers, no, you know, the fancy stuff, you know, MoTeC. It's literally got exactly what you need to go fast. There's a concrete track that goes right through the middle that I reckon would be a ripper shortcut if you wanted to take a race out. Have you ever tried that? I might have to. Thanks for that. Yeah, Do you no want to worries. jump in and have a go? Well, look, now that you mentioned it, I was going to ask, but now that you'd offered, um, I reckon I'd fit into that. No Absolutely. worries at all. What's your towing capacity? Yeah. Oh, you jump on the back of it? Yeah, oh, yeah, let's test it out, mate. You know, Warrnambool's a, a great supportive town to, towards spring car racing, and, and that's why my, myself and my family moved here. Um, you know, it's central to, to all the places that we go to travel, and, and such a cool town, so, you know, a beach vibe country town but still has you know the cool city things and then obviously this racetrack which you know I've traveled around a lot and seen a lot of really cool tracks around the world and, and this ranks as probably one of the top five in the world if you haven't been it's something definitely to come and see. Robbie I reckon it was an absolutely cracking decision to come back and hang out with you and the family for a bit longer here in Warrnambool. Oh, we have had an absolute ball Macca and I tell you what the highlight for me has been after all this time finally getting to introduce you to my little fella Jules. Well he might be your little fella but he's my little mate and I'll be looking after his education moving forward, don't worry about that. And we'll catch you a lot again next time as we show you What's, what's up, up Down, down Under. under.